You know, the C6 tuning, or six tunings in general, offer you so many more possibilities, um, both harmonically and melodically, than your basic major triad bass tunings. Um, just having that one extra note in there, that sixth, creates a whole other world of possibilities. Um, and if you're really into playing single note stuff, if you want to play the blues, etc., C6 is an amazing tuning for that. A lot of people probably would not guess that, but it really is. Uh, and you can also play the chords without having to play the, your same basic, you know, uh, power chords. You know, you can really get into it a little bit once you learn how to do a little bit of the uh, techniques of slanting, etc. But I'm just here to talk about C6 right now and just some of the benefits and one of the reasons why you might want to consider looking at the C6. So I play a C6 tuning that is symmetrical. From the bottom, it's G, A, C, E, G, A, C, E. It's an A string tuning. So. So it's a symmetrical tuning, and a few years ago I would have said, nah, way, man, that's just plain vanilla, man, that's not interesting enough, where's my tritone, etc. But once I got more proficient at slanting, um, it just wasn't an issue anymore. I could play seven chords, you know, till the cows come home. Uh, I just, you know, try to dig deep into the tuning and find voicings that I can use. And... You don't want to overlook the most basic voicings, which are just your basic triads, uh, because there's so much music just contained in those triads. But, you know, your voice leading and everything, if you want to, you know, go through, uh, you know, just playing, uh, uh, harmonizing a melody, you can use your harmonized triads to, you know, voice a melody. It re can be really beautiful. Or you can comp chords by just doing that. So... One of the things that I like to do is um, take my major scale, let's say G major scale, and I think of the, the major scale as three chords, the tonic, in this case G, the subdominant, the four chord, which is C, and the five chord, the dominant, which is D. So I think of all the notes of the G major scale uh, as being the building blocks for those three chords. I don't think about the A minor or the B minor or the E minor chords so much. Of course I use them. It's, it's not like uh, I just don't use them at all. But um, for the purposes of like voice leading and building nice melodies, there's, there's other ways that I, that I deal with the minors. Um, but I, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but I'm just going to demonstrate what I'm talking about here. So here's my tonic. Dominant, subdominant, dominant, subdominant. Kind of cool. As you can hear, when I get down to the nut, I can slide my bar right over the nut. My guitar is set up perfectly. This is a Klein Smith, and it's set up perfectly, so my strings are just above the nut itself. So I can slide the bar over the nut without hearing any uh, of that uh, clanking of the nut or having to lift the bar and then hearing the open strings. No, it's just really smooth. This is cool. So see if you can do that with your guitar. So I just showed you how I look at the scale in that way. But now there, there's more. Okay, so now I have my F sharp diminished chord, which is built on the seventh degree of the G major scale, F sharp. So, but the F sharp diminished functions as a D7 chord, so it's a dominant. 
I'm going tonic, dominant, tonic, subdominant, dominant, subdominant, dominant, tonic, dominant, tonic. Uh, this one messes me up a little bit because you're talking about the bad strings there. So that's the way I approach the major scale uh, in terms of, I could take the same approach with the top four strings. I can play the same thing that I played on the bottom four strings, subdominant, dominant, subdominant, dominant, sub, dominant, tonic, dominant, tonic, sub, dominant, sub, dominant, tonic, dominant, dominant, tonic. So the same things that I played down here. It's kind of cool. It opens up a lot of possibilities. So that's basically inversions of the major triad that I just uh, laid out along with the diminished chord functioning as a dominant seven. But that is not it. There are also other voicings that I can use of a major triad. So we can also space those voicings out a little bit and come up with something like this. So there's so much more. Uh, I don't have time to get into all of it uh, with this short little video, but um, I will be doing some more in the future. And I will be launching something I call Slant Guru, which is going to be really cool. It's going to uh, really open up uh, a lot of possibilities for you uh, on a C6 neck. But that's it for now. And... Um, Happy picking.